you want to make a little extra space for yourself by decluttering, but wow, you do not know where to start. Well, stick with me because I'm going to share with you 10 easy categories that you can condense to a day so that when you wake tomorrow, your home and your life will feel lighter and you will have such a huge sense of satisfaction and achievement. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura and look, we have spent a lifetime accumulating stuff. So when it comes to tackling it, it's only natural that we feel overwhelmed. And how should you approach it? Like, should you go the Marie route? What about Swedish death cleaning? It just seems like a lot. You just want some quick wins under your belt so that you can actually see results, you know, fast results, and so that you can see progress, build up a little bit of motivation and momentum. So let's do it. Let's dive right in. Okay, first up is boxed games, so like board games jigsaw puzzles, um, card games, Lego sets, anything like that, anything that is boxed up that you would play with your family. Um, we don't actually have too many of these, but Scout has outgrown some, so I'm still gonna go through, whittle them down. Boxes tend to be big, big and bulky. I have seen a tip online. It's kind of like a little bit too much faff for me but some people do take things out of the boxes and put them in like a big vinyl like ziploc type bag um and then they will just like cut out the picture or whatever or leave the lego instructions whatever game it is in the bag with them and that can considerably cut down on bulk so if you are having like a space issue with games big games that are taking up space that could be an option for you Next up then is your purse or like whatever you carry with you every day. For me, it's just a purse unless I can get away with just taking a card and like, keys in my pocket, then yeah, I will always go for that option. But you may have like a handbag or a baby changing bag or whatever. But these things tend to like gather receipts and coupons, pens, loose change, obviously hair clips, all that sort of stuff. Maybe even food, like snacks, particularly if you have kids or if you just like snacks like I do. <laughs> I once found what used to be an apple at the bottom of one of my bags. So yeah, clear it out so that it's not weighing you down and so that you can actually find stuff in here. And now, kitchen utensils. Now we do not have the best <laughs> set up here. This definitely could use some work and I am probably not the best person to be going through this stuff because I am a terrible, terrible cook. My skills are very limited, <laughs> extremely limited. So I don't even use like 95% of these utensils, but I bet we all have a utensil drawer that needs a little bit of work. You know, it contains things that have seen better days or that we bought, you know, full of enthusiasm and good intentions and then used once or never used. It's time to tackle this. And because this is something that you see on a daily basis, just a small amount of sprucing it up can have a really, a really big impact. Okay, shoes, either your own or your kids or whoever's, um, as long as you have permission to do it. Not with your kids, depending on how old they are. But anyway, because we're coming into the warmer months now, I have been slowly going through Scout's closet. Look at this disaster. Just ignore that. <laughs> but I'm going through her clothes because now that it's spring, I know that I can let go a lot of her winter stuff. But I have not touched shoes in a long time and it's bad. Um, so go through your shoes, like I said, or your kids' shoes, and just take out anything that doesn't fit, anything that's falling apart, um, anything that's just it's just seen better days. I found more up here. There, really, there is no point in having a beautiful pair of shoes that you just never wear because the heel is too high or they rub you like in a really uncomfortable place and they give you blisters. So now is the time to set yourself free. The freezer, ours is really narrow and awkward and we just end up like 
shoving things in, things get lost at the back. Um, yeah, it's just not the best setup right here. And I think we all have that mentality, you know, that once something goes into the freezer, it can stay there forever. But that is obviously not the case. Stuff still does go bad in the freezer. So go through it, pick out anything that you know you are not going to eat, stuff that is freezer burned or just generally past its prime. And then try and rearrange it so that you can actually see everything you have. We have a big problem with like things just getting pushed to the back and getting completely forgotten about. Look at this. It's like... <sighs> It goes back. <laughs> then make a note of the things that you want to use up so that over the next few weeks you will start eating it and that would be naturally decluttering even further. Next up is the box. I think we all have at least one box that we have brought with us when we've moved house that we've just packed full of memorabilia or old baby clothes or like old college notes or whatever. And we just like it just stays around the house or in the attic or in the basement or wherever now is the time to go through it because realistically the things that were important to you years ago may not necessarily be important to you now now i will say keep it to one box i have a few more boxes in there but this one was tough enough to get out this weighs a ton but go through one box go through it completely and then if you still have the motivation and the energy and the time or whatever then sure put this one away and pull out another one and go through that one but do not think that you'll just tackle your entire attic or your entire basement or your entire garage or wherever um, unless you are really really serious and really committed to decluttering but if you want to take it easy give yourself a nice easy task one category then take out the box one box okay i have a confession to make i actually do not do a lot of cleaning like tidying and organizing yes i would do that all day long but actual cleaning like dusting scrubbing vacuuming all that sort of stuff not so much. And my husband, not a great one for cleaning either. And honestly, when I do clean, I tend to just stick to regular old water and a cloth. And that's it. But over the years, we have accumulated a lot of cleaning supplies. You know, when we first moved here, I stocked up on stuff. Um, a lot of it was natural cleaners, things like that. Um, my husband will sometimes buy things for like specific reasons you know, like spot treatments stain removal that sort of thing anyone need a microfiber cloth i have about five thousand yeah it's just it's just got out of hand over the years so this definitely needs to be tackled next up your inbox not a physical thing but if you're in there every day, could still make a huge impact on your life. Or if your email inbox is fine, feel free to tackle like a paper inbox you have, whatever in tray. But if your email inbox is anything like mine, then it is way out of hand. Um, you don't need to go through all of it. I certainly will not be. But maybe take like the top 10 emails, top 10 most recent emails you've received and go through those. Or if you're tackling paper inbox, go through like the top 10 pieces of paper. And then if it's something that you need to reply to, by all means, go and reply. If it's something that you need to save, then create a folder for it, pop it in there. If it is like a newsletter or a catalog, if you're doing paper stuff that you no longer want, then unsubscribe. Um, and if it's something that you, I don't know, like something that you just don't need anymore, <laughs> um, just feel free to go ahead and delete it, dump it, recycle it, whatever. Um, you could maybe do 10 emails every day and just go through them until you get a handle on the beast. <laughs> and then while you are on your laptop, go through any bookmarks or like saved articles and whittle those down. I am a terror, a terror for like seeing an interesting article and just bookmarking it and be like, oh yeah, I'll come back to that later. And now I have like hundreds of articles to read. Um, now again, you can limit yourself to just 10, like just read 10 or go through 10 and delete them. If you don't have like 
online saved articles maybe you have the physical equivalent which is like newspaper or magazine clippings maybe you like tear out recipes or something like that if so that's the one to do but wherever you store your saved articles for me it's online and it's bad <laughs> next up then is folders now these could be digital or physical you could go with folder on your laptop or you could go with a folder in your filing cabinet but again keep it to one folder take one out or go through it on your laptop and um, flick through everything that's in it discard anything you no longer need and yeah pop them all back in again as usual if after doing one you still have the motivation and the stamina to go through another then by all means do it but for now just stick to the one see how you go if you are looking for more decluttering inspiration i have a whole playlist that is full of my best tips learn from my mistakes <laughs> so that you can see positive progress towards a more streamlined home and if that is a goal of yours then be sure to subscribe to this channel because that is what i am all about simplifying busy lives and until then, grab me the magwave. I'll get back in my ship to Glover. Slam.